Hey, how's it going everyone? Justin again as always. Thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Cheers to those of you that have your beers. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Alright, today's discussion topic is going to be my Cornwell welding gloves that I've had for about three or four years versus the Vulcan Defenders that you can pick up for 20 bucks over at Harbor Freight. Now, I believe I paid somewhere in the ballpark of 45 or 50 bucks for these ones from Cornwell and I paid $20 for these again from Harbor Freight. I thought I'd try something new because the Cornwell gloves which I've had for three years and they have a break-in period. These thick heavy duty leather gloves they definitely have a break-in period and I've kind of gotten to that point where it's definitely they're more broken in than before. But if you try to squeeze your hand around, you know, a welding rod or anything else, what I didn't like is that like the pinky, it twists. It doesn't remain flat, it actually twists and it kind of pinches my finger, that's a dislike. The other three seem to work just fine and so does the thumb. But this pinky thing was annoying the shit out of me because I had this stitching thing that was digging into my pinky while I was trying to weld. Just a preference thing. Everything else is fine. So I'm not sure how to fix that issue with that particular glove because that's my welding hand. Now with the left glove, I don't have that issue. The pinky seems to be just fine. Everything else seems to be just fine. Maybe it was the way that that one broke in. I don't know. Whatever the case may be, it was bothering me. So I saw these at Harbor Freight, these Vulcans, slip my hand in and immediately it felt like a broken in glove. In fact, I can actually make an entire fist with their glove in comparison to what I could do with the Cornwell where my fingers are almost flat. I can't make really a fist and like I said, the pinky does this weird shit. So it's annoying. So I thought I'd give them a shot, right? So I'm underneath the trailer. Uh, one of the leaf spring shackles had broke. I'm breaking these in, so to speak, with the welder for the first time. And yes, it's the Harbor Freight 110 volt uh, welder, little MIG welder, flux core welder, whatever you want to call it. I've had that thing for probably the betterment of about four or five years. Uh, I probably purchased it, I want to say within 12 months of starting my YouTube channel. And that was about five years ago now. Uh, but at any rate, <clears throat> here's the problem. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, I'm hoping you can. A piece of slag caught right there in between the finger. And as I was welding, I could smell this really distinct burning smell. And a piece of the slag got through and it started heating up right here. It didn't burn me, but it was heating up pretty hot in there where I had to actually pull my hand away and shake it off because I didn't know if that slag was still sitting there. Where I've had slag fall all over these things and never felt a drop of it. So are the Vulcan Defenders really worth the 20 bucks? If you're a professional welder, I'm gonna say no. I'm a DIY weekend warrior when it comes to welding and I don't even do it that often. It's when I need to. And my welds come out looking like crap. Let's face it, I'm no professional welder. They come looking out like crap. You can grind them up, you can clean them up. It depends on what it is that you're doing. For small little hobby things here and there, that, that 110 welder is phenomenal, works great for me. For in emergency situations where you just start lapping and lapping and just layering and layering slag on top of slag to create a thicker platform it works man okay it works i did the hammer test i've done a drop test i can pretty much do whatever i need to do and it'll hold up it'll look ugly ugly as hell but it'll work and what i like to say and a friend of mine used to say it all the time good enough for who it's for so as far as these uh vulcan gloves for the weekend warrior look when i was grinding with them and i'll throw a little video clip up here perfect perfect grinding gloves I think you're gonna be uh, pretty safe using these with a grinding wheel in case you accidentally you know, touch your hand or something like that with the wheel. I think they're gonna be pretty good for that. As far as welding goes, I'm kinda of disappointed with the, uh, the little bit of slag that fell on that pinky when I was welding upside down. If you're welding 
Um, from up top, might not be such a bad deal, but from underneath, not the uh, best glove in the entire welding community. That's all I got for this video, guys. Look, I hope it helped. Thanks as always for watching my channel. We'll see you next time. Deuces.